Good morning everyone. I'm so glad to be here with you today in this moment of morning prayer. I'm Pastor Senyonjo Vambusve. Have you ever thought about life that the easiest way toward success is the hardest way? This is a statement that I had seven years back and by then I could not understand it well. But uh, all the time I've been meditating about it because it was my pastor, my mentor who said it to me. And I said, what does it take exactly? So I want to talk about the paths of life today. We have all along been talking about coming out of bondage. What is bondage? What is uh, the things which are uh, hidden in that statement? Coming out of bondage. I have been trying to explain to people all the time in uh, the youth sector, in the old people, in the young people, in tertiary institutions. But now, here has come a time uh, following the fact that most of the people are asking, how can we be successful? And I know, as you are seeing me now, you might have heard different inspirational speakers who speak about it. And their message is so nice, but when you cogulate the message, you'll come out to understand that there is no easy way towards success. Whether you like it or not, the easiest way is the hardest way. My YouTube channel is Pastor Senyonjo Vamsve. If you write PR Vamsve, Senyonjo will see my YouTube channel and subscribe. Uh, we are also on Facebook, Vamsve Church, stroke Pastor Senyonjo. You'll be right there. Many people are going through a lot, and I have a feeling that even you who is listening to me, you are going through a lot. For example, you may be having a business, but when you look into your business, you see things are not easy. You got capital, you began something, but you, what you expected is not what you are seeing. Losses, things are not moving. After selling your stock, you calculate the money, and sometimes some money is missing, you don't know why. Some of you are suffering with workers. You tell them to do this, they do the other. Sometimes workers are suffering with their bosses. You have worked and they are not paying you. And again, we have some people who are doing hard work. You are a fisherman and you spend the nights on the lake. I don't know whether the system that I knew in my early 16 years is the same system which is going on now. Fishermen go on the lake in the evening. They spend the whole night, come back in the morning. When they are too cold like this, they take tea when it is very hot like fire and they can't even feel it because of the cold which has gone deeper in their bodies. You find taxi men, taxi drivers, or bus drivers, people who are dealing in transport, even those who are driving trucks, somebody drives a, a trailer from Mombasa to Kampala, or from Mombasa to Kigali, from Mombasa to other places in Burundi, and somebody is almost freezing on the steering, looking for money. And you see now as we are at this very moment, it is almost the air is going we are just remaining with a few days, a few days to go to a new year. But now a question comes that if you can look into your success, what have you done so far? This is where the challenge comes. That all people are struggling from morning up to evening. We have the same rate of hour. We have the, the same environment, same opportunities. But you find others are failing, others are succeeding. What is that content, the secret behind? That brings a difference between people. Have you ever imagined that thing? We have the same range of hours. We have the same rate of years. You look at the environment, we are working in the same environment. This is where you hear some people saying, for me, I trust God. I'm a Muslim, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Protestant, I'm a born again. I'm a what? Anywhere where people are, what they believe in. We have the same atmosphere, same opportunities. But there comes a time where others are elevating and you find yourself is either stagnant or again deteriorating you are just going back you are going deeper and then you ask yourself a question what mistake am i doing for that i'm this way i'm not going in the direction that i want and here where i teach people tell that maybe it is a wave we have waves in life let it be a question for you 
the year is going if you look into your life are you succeeding or you are going back are you growing or you are dying off is your business increasing or you are dying off is your marriage going higher or it's going down is your education going higher or you are going down financially physically in the body i have my daughter who was telling me the complication that her baby has the baby is now seven months but has almost the same kilograms that she had when she was born and this is the challenge it is so disgusting when you look at life and life is not changing you are in the same position it is quite disgusting you are using a lot of efforts to see that life changes but nothing good is, is happening that's a point where people say but what kind of god am i praying you bring out scriptures from the bible if you are a christian from the quran if you are muslim you look at the people in the, that book of faith that you have been reading oh it is god god who worked for abraham he was uh, uh, abraham abraham and then he turned into abraham you begin to quote things god made him so powerful he's a god who brought uh, uh, john from the other way where i was he was as a prisoner and he made him successful he made him a saint he's a god who did this and this you bring out the scriptures you are prayerful Verily in the morning you are prayer uh, in the afternoon in the evening but things are not working some people spend most of their time at the places of work honestly you stay at your work you are doing the needful all that which all people do is what you are doing and beyond but things are not changing i'm leaving with you with two ideas there is no success that will come on a silver plate but even when things are growing tougher i want you to stand in your position don't be diverted most successful people go at the point of their giving up is the point where they succeed so stand as a strong man in that into that path you'll be wonderful i pray for you wherever you are let that god of nature the god of africa be with you in everything that you do as you are going out for business you are going out for anything you are going out for an interview or for anything that you are pursuing i pray that the lord who created you will be on your side let the blessing of god follow you wherever you are at any level at any age at any faith i pray that something new will happen for the remaining few days of the year let a great thing be upon your life for some of you are looking for marriage looking for business looking for visas let the power of god come and intervene into that struggle so that you'll become one of the successful people father we thank you because i know it's done i'm pastor senior jovamus from vamus church in Nansana. please you can call me for prayer or for counseling for any kind of inquiries on 0752229680 as you see on the screen and you can whatsapp me on 0782229680 don't forget every wednesday i'm in office you can come i meet you one on one we pray in the name of god and i'm telling you your life will not remain the same every day of the week monday to friday we have evening services after work where uh, i teach people the principles of nature and success factors together with the spiritual things that can help you to overcome then plus sunday we have fellowship at 10 in the morning please don't miss vambusbe church is located on hoima road in asana town but opposite the main road you slope down you find vambusbe church my youtube channel is pr senyonjo vamsbe please you can be always inspired and you say you want to continue with us just go on that youtube channel you'll get a lot lots of teachings which will touch your life and give you proper direction then tiktok facebook search for vamsbe you'll find me there vamsbe senyonjo you'll find me there i love you so much 
move with that word may god give you a blessed day don't forget 31st december we are at Naweru playground as vamps people who are fighting obsibe god bless you meet next time